question number 16 a merchant makes a profit of 8% even after giving a discount of 10% what will be the profit if he sells at half price a person a merchant makes a profit of 8% such question start by assuming the sales at half price let the cost side be at the buy hand way because it will make the percentage calculation easier so the assumption is that you start by or the way to move forward is assume the cost side to be 100 he makes a profit of 8% 8% so that means the selling price has to be 108 What will be the profit if he sells at the mass price? What is the mass price? Mass price is 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 the uh, he is the the seller gives a discount of ten percent on the mass price. So mass price minus ten percent should give you the selling price, which we are obtained from cost price plus eight percent, which is nothing but the profit. So this picture is what you need to remember always. That mass price is minus discount will give you a selling price, and then cost price plus profit will give you the selling price, and both of them have to be equated. Okay. Now, if there is a discount of 10 percent, that means selling price is nothing but 90 percent of mass price. So this is nothing but 90 percent of mass price, or mass price should be equal to. 108 upon 0.9, which will be 120. Okay. So, so this is the way of doing the question. But this question would have been slightly easier had we used the choices, which means again I will start similarly. I will start by saying let the cost price be equal to 100. Then the profit is equal to 8 percent. That means my selling price should be 108. Selling price should be one zero eight. Secondly, a discount of ten percent should give me a selling price of hundred eight. Let me assume the correct answer is choice A. If choice A is the correct answer, that means my mass price should be hundred ten because it's a ten percent profit. If so mass price is hundred ten, ten percent discount will be not equal to hundred eight, and this is the incorrect answer. So this question again, if it has started working with the choices also, when it is start working with the choices, the profit is twenty percent, or sorry, the mass price, uh, the profit is twenty percent by selling at mass price. This means the mass price should be one twenty. One twenty minus ten percent would be hundred eight. This challenge will be selling price, and both of them are equal. Someone is asking for repetition of question eight. I'll just come back to it. But but I hope this is clear. Such question you can always work with from the choices. Also, especially if you are not very comfortable with dividing and so on and so forth. Otherwise, the relationship between it remember mass price minus discount gives you the selling price and cost price plus profit gives you the selling price. And that is the picture I want you to remember all the time. Okay, how did I get ninety percent? Let me just go back to it. You have a mass price. On the mass price, there is a discount of ten percent to get the selling price. That means a discount of ten percent means it is becoming ninety percent. If you give a discount of ten percent, ten percent on the mass price, you will be left with ninety percent of the mass price. Or in other words, you are selling it at 90% of the mass price, which is nothing but selling price. So how do I get 90%? Discount is 10%. Supposing the discount was 20%, then the selling price would be 80% of the mass price. Here the discount is 10%. So 90% of the mass price is equal to selling price. Quickly going back to the previous question. Percentage of sugar multiplied with volume of the mixture is equal to quantity of sugar. So there is no change in the quantity of sugar. Whatever the quantity of sugar, it remains because in five liters of 20% sugar solution, you are adding water. 
So the quantity of sugar in the mixture, even after addition of one liter water, will not change. So if the volume was five liters, then you add one liter of water, so the volume becomes six liters, or the volume becomes six by five times. So if the volume was five liters, new volume is six, so volume has become six by five times. Then the quantity of sugar does not change. The percentage of sugar should become five by six times. Originally it was twenty percent sugar. Then the percentage of sugar has to become five by six times. The percentage of sugar should be twenty to five by six, which is equal to sixteen point six percent. Okay.